Hey everyone, Red here, it's time for another Red's Requested, and today we have the Ultimate Defense Pyramid Head build. So let's go ahead and break it down. For our first perk, we have Hex Plaything. The first time a survivor is hooked, they will become cursed, and a dull tome become a lit totem. While this totem is in play, the survivor will suffer from the Oblivious Stas effect. Next, we have Hex Pentimento. You will see the aura of your destroyed totems, and you can perform a small ritual on them to reset them as a Hex Pentimento Hex. And for each Hex Totem in play, you get additional benefits, such as Survivor's Repair Speed, Healing Speed, Recovery Speed from being down, Decreased Exit Opening Speed, all by 30%. And of course, at 5 Hex Tomes, all Tomes are blocked by the entity. For our third perk, we have Call of Brine. After damaging a generator, it will be highlighted yellow, and the perk will activate for 60 seconds. Every time a survivor completes a good skill check on the generator, you will receive a loud noise notification, and the generator is going to regress at 200% of the normal regression value. And last but not least is the new overcharge. Whenever you kick a gen, you're going to overcharge it. Its regression speed will start from 75% and then go up to 200% of normal regression value over the next 30 seconds. On top of that, the next time a survivor tries to work on it, they'll be faced with a difficult skill check. If they fail it, they will lose an additional 5% progress. As far as add-ons go, we're going to be bringing Burning Man Painting, which is going to increase our range of Punishment of the Dam by 1.5 meters. And of course, Forgotten Videotape, which is going to decrease the time required to recharge our power by 3 seconds. And that's it for today's build breakdown. I'm pretty excited to get into these games, so let's go ahead and punish some survivors. Alright, and it looks like we have Mount Ormon for the first game. I'm alright with that. I enjoy a little bit of Ormon with Pyramid Head. You can see the survivors on a lot of these loops and go for some fun little shots here and there. Let's take a look. Ah, right away. That's what I like to see. Downside is he's going to have access to Vault. Maybe? No. Okay. Let's just go ahead and break this for now. I'm not really too interested in this chase, but I'll hold it for a moment. Ooh. We got two servers going upstairs. I'm okay with that. She's going for the vault. Yep. Alright. Does she head to the left? No. She's heading straight back. There she is. I might be able to play around with this. She'll beeline to Shag, but I might get a snag here. We're going to have to definitely put our power down, though. Where are you going? Yeah. Just by putting the power down, we make her rethink about going inside check. She doesn't have scratch marks, so this might get a little difficult. Maybe? Ah, darn. And she vanished. Yeah, she's gone. Oh, well, someone's right here, it sounds like. Yeah. Don't do it. Thank you. Let's kind of see where he's holding forward at. No. Here we go. Much better. On point today, feeling pretty good. Losing one gen makes sense. Again, while we do have a great defense build, the early game can suffer. So you got to get it down pretty quick uh, to really feel the full effects, for sure. All right, let's get over here and kick this gen, put overcharge and brine on it. Ooh, actually, we can go for maybe a quick hit here. Even better. Yeah, I can't really chase that. We'll overcharge brine this. Remember, whenever you bring overcharge and brine together, you're actually getting less value right away because you're gonna cut into your brine a little bit from the overcharge negative effect. I'll take it. But if the gen remains for a while, you get tremendous value. Cool. It's a quick two-tap, and someone went back to work on this gen, so... Hey, can you not? Ooh, your medkit's gone. There we go. Just get ourselves a little bit more pressure. We can come back and hook now. I'll hook, and then we'll kick the gen. Get that thing regressing. You could cage here, but I can't warrant the cage here. It's better to have them hooked where I want to come back to. There we go. Brian overcharges back on that. In about 15 seconds, you'll start getting tremendous value from overcharging Brian's stacking effect. 
I see her, but I want to know if, how she's moving. Okay, I was hoping maybe she would stay right there, but she didn't. A little risky coming over here, but I'm kind of okay with it at the moment. Ugh, less okay with it. Nice juke. Okay. Ooh, that was risky. I'd actually normally leave her slug, but because we have a hook right here, I'm just going to toss her up. I guess you could hook her either way. It's just she's so far into this corner, it's kind of, like, inefficient. Actually, even being over here in general is pretty inefficient. You don't really want to go to the part of the map where, like, gens aren't at, but... We took the risk and it paid off somewhat well because, well, we have, you know, it was, what, 15 seconds when we were there, maybe? Don't do it! Thank you. We have Nia here, too. Yeah. We take those. Where's she heading off? Oh, she stayed here. Brave. That's why. I'm just gonna hook her back up. I really don't need to cage here. I'd really like to keep taunting this gen as if they're going to get it done. It's still regressing, so we're golden. We'll move over to this side for a second. Again, it's always risky to move to this side, but because I feel like they'll just heal under hook, I think we're fine. Yeah, they're healing under hook. Ah, uh, he's back there and injured. Thank you. Cool, that makes this actually worth it overall. And they missed a skill check probably over there, I think? No, it was just a loud noise. Okay. Ooh. She actually decided to do the totem first. Maybe that was her play thing. That'd be pretty cool. No, I think that play thing was up originally. Hers might be the one over by Shaq. But her doing that totem is very silly. They shouldn't be able to finish this gen now, right? Oh, it's close. Nice. He tried committing to it, but she missed that skill check. I can't chase this. Let's go ahead and see if we can maybe secure the down here, and then we can punish it. Nice. We left for a second. He got confused. We can start overcharging Brian on this, and we can get Pentamento set up. Now, now we're really in, in control here. So gens are going to take 30% longer to finish, which is just great slowdown. Not to mention we start thinking of like Call Brian and Overcharge. As long as Pentamento's in the game, it's very brutal to get a gen done. I saw her run over here, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, I can't really play around it. Ooh. I don't want to venture over there just yet. I want to kind of keep an eye on this. This gen is almost done, so I do want to make sure it gets to that nice regression point. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Oh, we healing up over here. Maybe? Oh, wow. They committed that. That was so brave. I mean, they're both down. Like, they're both down for the count here. So, I'm going to chase him, see if we can get this quick down. If not, we'll venture back. If she has Unbreakable, she has Unbreakable. Nice, I'll take it. Alright, what do we have around? Come on, hooks. I have one there. Ooh. Kind of awkward. I, yeah, I don't like this, but... We come over here, check the gen afterwards, just to make sure what kind of progress is that, and then go kill the other survivor. No, that thing's dead. Yeah, that gen's pretty much completely killed. Alright, let's go find her and kill her out of the game. Hi, Ania. Oh, you guys are getting censored. We can now set up this Pentamento and kind of just look for these last two. I see, so we went right back to the gen. I'm okay with it. This gen has gotten so much attention this game. I've gotten so much value for just repeatedly kicking it. Hi. Smart. That was good. The walk back into me was good. I should have held it down a little bit more until he committed. That's on me. We're still here. Okay. 
That works. All right. Now, can we find this last survivor? There you are. Well, took a while to find you. But it looks like you're in straight to Shack. So, oh yeah, you knew exactly where it was. That's fine. And there we go. Game number one out of the way. Pretty smooth, pretty simple. Felt great. Let's go ahead and move on to game number two. Wow. We got Mount Ormond back to back. All right. Fair enough. A little bit different of a spawn this time. We can venture out here. Ooh, wow. And yeah, we found somebody right away. I'm not exactly happy about that. We'd rather this gen have like three people on it or no people. Seems like she's the only one. Quick little tea bag to get my attention. Oh yeah. You're definitely already getting hit for that one. <laughs> Seeing at the corners is pretty fun easy to play around. You just gotta hold still for a second and be patient. Maybe the vault? No. She moved a little bit. Oh that works. Yeah, she's she sealed her fate. Maybe dead hard. <laughs> No. Cool. All right, there we go. Not exactly my favorite chase. Okay, good. We have someone here. It's not my favorite chase simply because we had like we had him in a corner where there's only one gen. There's not a lot of pressure we had there. Where's Steve heading off to? Ooh. This could be quick. Just fake him out, maybe. Yeah, there we go. That little turn to the left gives us this for three. Let's get him hooked up, and then we can go around kicking some gens. Alright, let's go ahead and get this regressing. And then we have one more gen in here. Cool. Wow, they had a lot of gen progress. Overall, that means they just started out spread out. Oh, hello, Nancy. Thank you. They got the save. How far did she get out? Maybe, uh, if I would've went sooner, maybe. I see. Hello, other Steve. There's not a lot of places for him to go here. We can definitely get the quick basic. Maybe not. There we go. I figured he might hold it. Yeah, sure, why not? It's not perfect, but it'll work. We take those. Alright, I had to come a little out of my way, but we can put him here instead and grab our Pentimento, which will come really in play. You gotta love it when they give you a Pentimento without even having plaything on them. That was a pretty quick gen, but the chase and the hook timing does the add up. But there are two survivors over there. They saw me go through main, so let's just come back out this way. Ah, yeah, right here. We can chase down Nancy here. The other one who's healing her is full health, so we can make this a little quicker. Yeah, I'm a little late to those. That's fine. Oh, she ran herself right to me there. We can actually cage her, and we know she's going to go to the other side of the map, and I can play on that. Let's see who's here first, though. She might have went straight across. She's not over to our left, so she's probably more on Shaq's side, if I had to guess. Ooh. Hi, how you doing? Uh, yeah, I really don't know if I want that. That's why. All right, so we do have Nancy over here in Shag. That's good. This means we can eliminate Nancy right from the game right away. Really punish that out. Oh, someone's working on that. Okay, good. I just wanted to scare them off the Pentimento. There's Steve. And there's Nancy. Sorry, Nancy. Time for you to go. And there we go. Getting to remove a player from the game pretty quickly. Alright. 
We can head over this way, get Pentimento set up. It looks like he healed up as well. Oh, hi Claudette. Thank you. I guess I'll go for this first. As long as I have one Pentimento up, I feel fine. It's the most important one. Especially since everyone's healing. Are you chilling here? Thank you. Yeah, Pyramid Head can be brutal. Alright, you can chill here. And I can look to... Oh, get some of these Pentimentos finally up in play. Oh. Deliverance. It's either that or Second Wind. I know they've changed the name. I think it's called Renewal now, but... I'll probably always call it Second Wind. No one's there. Alright. We pretty much got everything set up that I want set up. I see. Okay, so Steve did come over here and help. Thank you. Where are we heading off? Oh, he's going to turn back in. Oh, and the brutal two tap. Love to see it. A majority of our gens are on the other half of the map compared to where we have them hooked, but it kind of just works out for me at the moment. It was a quick hook, but you'd want to get someone hooked more over here if possible. I haven't checked this gen in a while because it's off in its corner by itself. Yeah, I figured someone might come over here eventually. It's just a safe gen to do to at least get like points out of the match. Hey, buddy. I might try and play a little bit more around with our shots here. Yeah, I telegraphed that one pretty hard. Early drop, smart. Ooh, I had the right placing, just not enough range. That was good, he held away from the loop. He's definitely looking out for it, so... I can probably just get him to dance a little bit by just holding rights for a while. Dance for me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just like that. Sometimes holding the power is more effective than actually using the power. This gen makes the most sense. Ooh, actually. Hi. Nope. Thank you for having a good ping, though. I really thought he would double back, but he holds it forward. Yeah. Alright, and then there were two. Ah, here you are. I came by here already once and kicked the gen, but I think they were hiding on me for a little bit. Thankfully, Brian comes into play there really well. Where are you going, Steve? Nice try. He doesn't have a lot of places to head over there. We just gotta catch up real quick. Going around, okay. Hi, man. Nope. Can't let you do it. Can I execute you? Goodbye. Oh, there's the hatch. And look, Claudette. How would you sneak all the way over here? Crazy. And GG's. And that is game number two. Thank you all so much for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely try out the build in your games. Let me know what you think. Much love, and as always, I'm Red, and I'm signing off. Aren't you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight back?